Welcome to Church of God Christian Preschool Academy, where learning comes alive. Good morning. Thank you for joining me for class today. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. Let's sing our good morning song. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. We bring a happy good morning to Josiah. Good morning to Uriah. Good morning to Morgan. Good morning to you. All right. What do you thank God for? In the morning, we want to give God thanks for blessing us. And what do you thank God for? Mommies and daddies, good job. I thank God for mommies and daddies too. You know what? We also thank God for the bees. Have you ever seen a bzzz bee before? Did you know they have important jobs that help us? Let's listen to the amazing bees. Bees are like tiny helpers in our gardens. They fly from flower to flower, spreading pollen so plants can make yummy fruits and colorful flowers. They also make sweet honey that we love to eat. But bees have a rule. If they feel scared or someone bothers them, they might sting and it can hurt. So we need to be very gentle and careful around them, just like how we treat our friends. God made the bees and all the other creatures to help take care of our world. We can thank God for bees and remember to be kind to them while we enjoy the beautiful flowers they help grow. All right, we thank God for the bzzz bees. Are you ready for your ABCs? We are getting ready to do our alphabet video. Here we go. First, we're going to sing our alphabet song. Do you remember the ABC song? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I sung my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? And this time, I'm going to slow it down. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I've sung my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Great job. Today, we are going to talk about the letter F, F, the letter F. F. The letter F makes the F 
sound. The letter F says F. The F says F. The F says F. Every letter makes a sound. The F says F. As in the word fish. Fish. The F says F in fish. Do you like to catch fish? The F says F as in the word F, F, fan, fan. When it's hot, we need a fan, F, fan. F says F as in the word frog, frog. Make sure you're putting your teeth over your lip. F, f, frog, ribbit, ribbit. Good job. The F says f, as in the word fruit, fruit. We need to eat fruit every day. Fruit, fruit. Good job, girls and boys. The F sound. Can you make the F sound? Great job. The days of the week. Are you ready? I'm going to say the day first and you say the day second. Are you ready? How many days are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in a week. Are you ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. Now let's listen to our Days of the Week song. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Let's slow it down just a little bit for our little ones. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Great job. What day is it today? All right. Great job, girls and boys. Now, we are going to learn about the seasons of the year. There are four seasons of the year. We have summer, spring, winter, and fall. Summer, spring, or fall, some people call it autumn, and winter. In the winter, some parts of the world starts in December for winter, and its main characteristic is that it's cold, and some cities we can see snow. Spring, in some parts of the world, it starts in March. Its main characteristic is 
that flowers start to grow and trees get greener because of their leaves. Summer in some parts of the world starts in June. Its main characteristic is that it is the hottest season of all. Sometimes we go swimming in the summer. And then we have the fall. It starts in September. In some parts of the world, and its main characteristic is the leaves of the trees begin turning brown and tumbling down to the ground. Can you guess the season? I'll give you a clue. It is the hottest season of the year. Is it winter, spring, summer, or fall? Did you say summer? You got it right. Summer is the hottest season of the year. You wanna guess another one? In this season, the trees, the tree leaves tumble down to the ground. What season is it? Is it winter, spring, summer or fall? Did you say fall? You got it right. The leaves fall in the fall. Let's do one more. It snows in this season. It's very cold. Is it winter, spring, summer or fall? If you said winter, you got it right. Are you ready to count? Are you ready for your numbers? Here we go. Count, count, count with me. Count with me from one to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Great job, girls and boys. You counted to the number 20. Today, we're gonna focus on the number six. We're gonna focus on the number six. Do you know anybody who is six years old? No, yes, are you six years old? Let's hold up our fingers and count to the number six. We're gonna need both hands for this one. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, the number six. Let's go to the beach and see if there are some things that we can count. There are some things that we can count. How many birds do you see flying over the beach? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
That's right. There are six birds. How many seashells do you see lying on the beach? Are you ready to count, Ilani? Let's count the seashells. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great job. There are six seashells. What else do we have at the beach? Hmm. We have blue whales floating in the water. Can you count the whales, Rohan? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six whales. Great job. Anything else at the beach that we can count? Hmm. Oh, there are sand castles at the beach. Hadessa, do you think you can count the sand castles? Let's, let's see you try. Did you say there were six sand castles at the beach? You got it right. Great job. There are six sand castles at the beach. Thank you for counting with me. Now it's time to learn our colors. Colors are everywhere. And today, we're gonna talk about the color yellow. Yellow, do you see the color yellow? Let's go and visit this little room and see if we can find some yellow things lying around. Ooh, this room has yellow. Do you see the six yellow things that are in this room? Look, look around. Did you find the yellow clock on the wall? Very good. Do you see the yellow teddy bear sitting on the sofa? You're doing an excellent job. See if you can find the yellow shoes on the floor. Good job. Look over there on the floor. Under the bed is a yellow book. Great job, everybody. There are two more things that we need to find. Oh, did you find them already, Johanna? Yes, the yellow ball and the yellow lamp. You did a great job. It's story time. The Hidden Treasure. There once was a treasure hidden in a field. A man came and began to dig in the earth. When he was digging, he found an amazing treasure. He really wanted this treasure. Then he realized that he could not take the treasure because it did not belong to him. He knew what he had to do. He went and sold everything that he owned. Afterwards, he went and purchased the entire field. Now the treasure was all his. The end. All right, thank you for joining me for class today, girls and boys. I hope that you enjoyed your class. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel so that we can continue learning together. Bye.